What up, guys? This is Chivo Guys. Back here again with another video. Now, today's topic may be a little controversial depending on who you are, but True Achievements has updated their cheat policy. Now, I'm not making this video to choose sides or anything like that. I'm just here to deliver the news because this does apply to my channel. And I would be doing you guys a disservice if I didn't let you guys know about the updated policy that True Achievements has to their cheat policy. Because this does affect a handful of videos on my channel that I'm going to have to remove now. Just because I want you guys to be confident that anytime you guys watch any of my achievement guides, that you guys will never get banned on True Achievements or Xbox for following them. Now, before I go ahead and read this whole post to you guys, I'm going to go ahead and summarize it. They basically added two brand new rules to the cheat policy. First is for launching a game with a command line argument for the purpose of unlocking achievements, altering achievement requirements, or to unlock options disabled by developers. Now don't get this confused with console commands. Console commands are totally legit and they are allowed because they're included in the game by the devs. Now what they're talking about is software that you have on your computer where you can basically upload a file and it will automatically input all of the puzzle solutions for you without you having to press anything. That is not allowed on True Achievements anymore. So you cannot use external software to type in all of the solutions for you. You have to type them in yourself. Aside from that, they added a second rule, which prevents you from manually adding or editing files in mod enabled games to unlock achievements or alter achievement requirements. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and make this nice and simple for you guys. Mods are allowed in certain cases. The only case that you would be able to use a mod for achievements is if the game had a mod browser or a mod store where you can go in, browse the community mods, and download it to the game. If for some reason any of those mods help you with achievements, they're totally legit. So they have clarified that Surviving Mars is legit. You can use the mod browser to download the achievement mod and unlock the achievements. That is not going to be against the rules on true achievements. At first it was kind of up in the air, gray area, but they basically clarified that if the game has a mod browser included inside of the game, mods can be used for achievements. If you have to download an external file and basically drag that into your game, like on the computer let's say, that is not allowed anymore. There are really only three games that have broken this rule, those being Mount and Blade for Windows 10, Starbound for Windows 10, and then finally Pillars of Eternity 2 for Windows 10. All three of those games required you to download a mod file and drag it into the mod folder on the Windows 10 version of the game. Now, even though Xbox supports mods for those games, True Achievements is not going to allow you to do this. So again, the only instance where you can use mods to get achievements is if the game has a mod browser inside of the game where you can simply go inside of the game and download a mod that was uploaded by the community. And on the other side of that, you cannot download any external files and drag them into your game to help you unlock any achievements or trophies. And it's really as simple as that. So unfortunately, I am going to be taking down my guides for Mountain Blade Windows 10, Starbound Windows 10, as well as Pillars of Eternity 2 Windows 10, just because moving forward, those would be considered cheating on TrueAchievements.com, and I don't want any of you guys to get in trouble for cheating. Now, you're probably wondering, what if I already completed this game? Is True Achievements going to penalize me at all or anything like that? And the answer is no. This change is not retroactive. So for anybody that has completed these games using mods before this rule change will not be penalized. But moving forward, if you do it, it's not allowed and you could be penalized for cheating on TrueAchievements.com. So if you already did it, good for you. You got it done before they changed the rules. Lucky you. Unfortunately, if you didn't do it yet, I do not recommend practicing these methods on either of these games just because you could end up being classified as a cheater on TrueAchievements.com. Alright, so that's a quick little breakdown on the rule change to the cheat policy on TrueAchievements.com. We're going to do a deep dive for the rest of the video, so if you want to go through this article with me, I'm going to go ahead and read it to you guys, and we're going to break it down line by line. But hopefully you guys have a good idea of what the rule change is from that brief breakdown. So, the article is called, An Update on True Achievements Cheat Policy. I'll link it down in the description below. It says, We recently proposed some small changes to the True Achievements Cheat Policy, the rules that govern what we allow and do not allow regarding unlocking achievements in games. We have taken on board all of the community feedback and have settled on an updated policy that we believe is both clear, fair, and enforceable. 
Here's the key part of the updated cheat policy, the part that defines cheating. It says, how do you define cheating? All profiles on the site must comply with the following rules. These things we do not allow. Using profile editors, trainers, or similar software to unlock achievements. Using a save from a different profile. This is considered game saving. Using a save from a different version of platform. Example from Steam to Windows Store. Outside of supported game mechanics. For example, some games like Grand Theft Auto or Borderlands let you transfer your game save from one platform to another in effort to unlock achievements. That's fine, but you can't take a Steam save file and upload it into Windows to unlock achievements. Next it says profile swapping, also known as the second profile glitch, which is the practice of transferring a save or game statistics from one profile to another. Next is editing or manipulating game files to unlock achievements, alter achievement requirements, or to unlock options disabled by developers. And then next we have the two bold ones, which are the brand new additions to the cheat policy. First is manually adding or editing files in mod enabled games to unlock achievements or alter achievement requirements. Again, this prevents you from downloading an outside or external mod file and dragging it into the game files on the Windows 10 platform. And that's even taking into consideration Xbox allows it and enables you to add mods in some of those games. Even with that being said, True Achievements is not going to allow this. Again, the only instance where you can use mods is if the game has a mod browser or mod store included in the game where you can download the mod without having to go to your computer and download any extra files or do anything to the game at all. Next, we have a final addition to the cheat policy, which is launching a game with the command line argument or using software to do it for you for the purpose of unlocking achievements, altering achievement requirements, or to unlock options disabled by developers. Again, this is using external software to basically uh, upload a file and have it type in all the solutions for you in a game. It's basically like a robot that types everything in for you. You cannot use external software to complete a game. So they went ahead and added both of those uh, bullet points to the cheat policy. Next, it says clarification of changes. It says the bullet points in bold above regarding the mods and command line arguments are the main updates to the policy. The mod rule was already covered by the section on file manipulation, but given the number of questions we have received on that topic, we've decided to make it explicit in the policy. Please note that this change does not affect the in-game mod store games such as Surviving Mars. As no manual file manipulation is required to install these mods, all of the mod functionality is built into the game engine itself. I do want to point out that somebody out there has to upload these mods to the mod store, um, which I'm assuming is allowed in terms of like, let's say uploading the achievement mod to the Paradox servers so that other people can use it. But I want to clarify why this would be allowed. This is because you're taking a mod file and you're uploading it to the mod store, you know, the mod browser inside of the game where other people can download those mods. You're not necessarily dragging it into your particular game files. So yeah, if you're wondering about Surviving Mars, especially just because they added new DLC and new achievements, there's no need to go, you know, rush and buy the DLC because they're changing the rules or anything like that. No need for that because Surviving Mars method is allowed on true achievements. Take your time, probably wait until that DLC goes on sale to finish getting your achievements with mods in Surviving Mars. Now it continues to say, games such as Minecraft that have worlds that you can download in game are also unaffected. And again, that's because it has a in-game mod system where you can download the community mods. You don't necessarily have to download a random file off the internet and drag it into your game files. Next it says, there are however a handful of Xbox games on Windows that have a way to enable mods. There are third-party sites that host mod files for these tiles that automatically unlock achievements. Downloading these files and using them to unlock achievements is not allowed under policy and will be considered cheating. So again, you cannot download any external files and use them uh, or drag them into your game to unlock achievements or trophies. The only instance where you can use mods for achievements is if it has a mod browser or mod store in the game. Next, it says time frame for implementation. These rules are effective immediately, but they are not retroactive. If you have used these banned methods prior to today, you do not have to be worried about them being flagged on your account. What happens if I used banned methods after today? 
It says, please read the how do investigations work section in the cheat policy for more information. So again, you don't want to complete those three games that I mentioned with mods. Uh, otherwise, you can risk getting banned on trueachievements.com. You're going to have to complete them legit moving forward, unfortunately. Next, it says further discussion. I want to make it clear that we all are aware that these rule adjustments will not please everybody. Some achievement hunters believe that boosting sessions or the use of turbo controllers should be outlawed and that the other end of the spectrum, there are others that believe that anything is fair game including game saving and editing files. We have to place our line in the sand somewhere and wherever we place that line we know there will be some dissenting voices. I can assure you that everything we do is done with the best interests of the True Achievements community in mind. At the same time, I would like us to maintain the original strap line and concept of the site. Just how good are you? Another comment we see regularly is, if Microsoft allows it, TA should allow it. Firstly, we are not Microsoft. I originally created the True Achievement score system because I wanted to have a different and hopefully better take on Gamerscore. As an independent website, it's up to us how we define cheating on True Achievements. Again, this is the owner, Rich, speaking. And then it says, secondly, Microsoft has existing rules around achievement unlocking that would also prevent some things that we are banning. But sadly, those policies are not currently being enforced. There are thousands of gamer tags on Xbox Live that have broken many of Xbox's rules around achievement unlocking, but have not been banned from the service. Our leaderboards would be overrun with these tags if we did not have an investigations team working hard to remove them from TA. We have different standards and we have a great team that enforces those standards. If you have any questions about the cheat policy, please post them in the investigations questions forum. All right, so we're gonna head over to the investigations forum uh, just because they have a forum titled cheat policy fact in there and it gives us some additional information as well as the specific games that have been affected by this policy change. So it says, cheat policy update, enforcement timing, there will be a private message sent to all site members explaining this policy change. Once that PM is sent, the policy will be in full effect. Action will not be taken on gamer tags that have previously taken advantage of these exploits. This is a forward looking change only and there will be no retroactive punishment. We kind of already went over that in the previous uh, post, but it says here, cheat policy update example games. Any manually downloaded mod that automatically unlocks achievements would be considered cheating. This pertains to the games that have been previously accepted below, as well as any future games that work similarly. So, these are three games that were allowed before, however they're not allowed moving forward. Again, that's why I'm going to take down my video guide for these three games, because I don't want anything on my channel that is considered cheating on true achievements. So, the method for Mount and Blade Warband on Windows 10 is not allowed anymore. The method for Starbound on Windows 10 is not allowed anymore. And then finally, the method for Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire on Windows 10 is not allowed anymore. This does not impact games that function as these, Minecraft or Sims 4, or even like Subnautica or um, you know anything that uses console commands really. Um, that's just a whole different ballgame, whole different subject. Console commands and mods are totally different. Console commands is a feature that the devs included in the game, so it's fair game. It says, the games above are not utilizing mods, rather the use of in-game mechanics. This policy also added the following line, which is basically the second new rule. It says, launching a game with command line arguments or using software to do it for you for the purpose of unlocking achievements, altering achievement requirements, or to unlock options disabled by developers. A breakdown on this, it says, this pertains to launching games via a command line PowerShell prompt import into Steam or other similar methods where you can pass additional arguments on launch. Again, it's using software that enters in all of the uh, buttons or commands for you to finish the game without you touching it. That is not allowed anymore as well. But yeah guys, that's pretty much going to cover the brand new cheat policy that True Achievement has put in effect in regards to mods. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead and take those videos off of the channel unfortunately. But just keep in mind that, you know, moving forward, any guides that you see on my channel will never get you banned from True Achievements, and it will definitely never get you banned from Xbox. And anytime any changes happen to the cheat policy or to True Achievements, I'll try to keep you guys in the loop just because, 
you know this affects all achievement hunters and it does affect my channel because I have to take down three videos and most of all you know I want to make you guys aware of the changes so that you guys don't accidentally break the rules and aren't defined as a cheater on the website so let me know if you guys enjoyed this video I know again it's a controversial issue I'm not you know picking any sides again I just wanted to make this more of a informational type of video letting you guys know about the changes not only that but try to explain them cut and dry and simple so there's no gray area or wondering what's cheating or what's not cheating um, I think this video as well as the post that true achievements made make it very clear and define what is cheating and what is not cheating on the website so again the main thing to take from this video is if you're trying to get achievements using mods make sure you're not downloading any external file and dragging into your game files because that is not allowed on true achievements anymore the only way that you can use mods to get achievements is if the game has a in-game mod browser where you can browse through the mods that the community has uploaded download them and apply them to your game but yeah anyhow I gave you guys a good 15 minute breakdown on this brand new cheat policy change that true achievements put in effect today let me know what you guys think about the brand new cheat policy down in the comments below as always I'd like to give a huge thank you to all of my patreon subscribers we just hit 16 patrons I'd like to give a special shout out to everybody in the biggest fan club including Tim G 84 AOJ kegger 101 Kana 25 Michael Banksa and Purple Rain 6. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.